Welcome everyone to a famous Graves Down Under cemetery tour. Get comfortable as we wander around the iconic South Head Cemetery. Nestled in the opulent suburb of Vaucluse in Sydney's northeast and in the shadow of the beautiful Macquarie Lighthouse, South Head General Cemetery is a small quaint location of just four acres. It is bordered on three sides by Old South Head Road to the west, Young Street in the east and Bird Street in the south. Its history dates back to the mid 19th century when a request was made for a burial site in the area in 1845. In September of that year, the Sydney Morning Herald noted his Excellency the Governor has been pleased to grant one acre of land for the purpose of a general cemetery for the internment of the dead, without any restrictions as to the religious persuasion of the deceased. It is the specification of, without any restrictions as to the religious persuasion of the deceased, that Southhead gets its title of general cemetery, as there are no dedicated areas to a specific religion. The first burial took place on the 27th of February, 1868, that of local fisherman, boxer and Vaucluse resident, Major Lee. Some earlier deaths were commemorated on later monuments, such as James Green, captain of the Dunbar, which was wrecked off South Head in 1857. His name is on the gravestone of his brother Malcolm, who died in 1904. The first funeral held for a public figure on the 8th of August 1889 was that of Margaret Robertson, wife of former New South Wales Premier Sir John Robertson. In 1901, like other cemeteries around Sydney, several graves were relocated from the old Devonshire Street Cemetery to make way for Sydney's Central Railway Station. The perimeter wall and amazing Gothic gates were added in 1924. And as you step through the gates, you are immediately drawn to the magnificent Celtic Cross Monument, which marks the gravesite of former Governor of New South Wales, Sir Walter Edward Davidson. South Head Cemetery also boasts a rich tapestry of famous graves within its walls. Due to its location, the cemetery has since its early days been popular as a final resting place for Sydney's political, business and cultural leaders. These include numerous premiers, lord mayors and governors of New South Wales, including war hero and Victoria Cross recipient Sir Roden Cutler. However, Australia's first Prime Minister, Sir Edmund Barton, is possibly South Head's most famous political resident. The Norton, Fairfax and Packer families, all powerful media dynasties in Australia, have their family plots here. Also here is the famed portraitist of the First World War, George Washington Lambert, as well as architects Neville Guzman, John Horbury Hunt and colonial architect Mortimer Lewis designer of many heritage listed works around New South Wales. Australian outback bush poet Jack Moses is also buried here, unmarked in the grave of his wife, Florence Lucy. Jack was the author of the famous Australian poem, The Dog Sat on the Tucker Box, from which the well-known Dog on the Tucker Box monument was inspired. Roy Redgrave, stage and silent film star and patriarch of the Redgrave acting dynasties here. Actress Vanessa Redgrave, seen here in Mission Impossible as Max, is the granddaughter of Roy. Legendary entertainer Gladys Moncrief is also buried here. Known as Our Glad and Australia's Queen of Song, 
She was one of Australia's most successful singers throughout the 20th century. She is buried here in this unique grave with her parents. I wonder if that harp works. And speaking of unique graves, South Head is home to arguably Australia's most unique headstone, that of Speedway driver Reginald Gordon Phil Garlic. This striking marker depicts Phil behind the wheel of his legendary 1924 Alvis sports car. Garlic nicknamed his car Lucky Devil and splashed the number 13 on the rear. However, this proved as unlucky as it sounds, as Garlic was killed when his car flew off the track at the notorious Maroubra Speedway on January 8th, 1927. The Speedway, nicknamed The Death Trap, also claimed the lives of fellow motorsport personalities Leo Salmon and his mechanic Albert Vaughan, both of whom also call Southhead home. Here, within the family plot of her parents, is a memorial to Juanita Nelson, an heir to the Mark Foy's retailing fortune. Nelson campaigned against the redevelopment of Potts Point through her newspaper, Now. She disappeared on 4th of July, 1975. Her body has never been found. And finally, Southhead is the resting place of Leela Waddell, violinist and famed Scarlet Woman of infamous occultist Alistair Crowley, buried here in an unmarked grave in the northwest corner of the cemetery. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the iconic Southhead General Cemetery. Who was your favourite grave? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more famous graves content. As we make our way to the exit, we'll leave the last words to our friend Ezio. Reguiescat in pace.